All right, right off the bat, you have to know there's absolutely nothing extreme about this video. It's just a bow saw. Alright folks, here's what I'm doing today. I'm going to use that new bow saw. I'm really excited. Um, you know, the last video that I did uh, or here at the tent, it's done very well and um, a big reason I think is because people are watching it and just wondering what the heck is that guy doing with a carpenter hand saw out in the bush and uh, it was a $4 saw, that's why I'm using it. Um, so I got a bow saw. Uh, as you saw there and I'm really really excited to use it today. I wanted to get a silky saw but it just wasn't in the cards right now. I have to order one in. There's none in my community, my town, my, my city. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be sawing and hopefully it, it's up to your standards because I know with all the comments, you know, there's, you gotta know how to saw if you're gonna be in the bush. What else am I doing? I'm gonna cook, I'm gonna have a ribeye steak and I am going to have some potatoes and I'm gonna have some mushrooms and onions some coffee no beer today I don't want to be like that beer beer guy beer video guy uh, and what else am I gonna do yeah maybe just tidy up a little bit just sit back and relax and it's the same as every other tent video there's nothing really like interesting about it I just know that a lot of you people like watching people do stuff at tents and that's what I'm doing today I'm just gonna to be doing stuff at a tent so I'm still using the lint that I brought earlier this year that stuff works so great And there's a lot of ash in there, but whatever. Season's almost over. Okay, gotta get some splits ready. Take all this. It's so dry, it should probably light instantly. And today I'm just gonna use matches. What do you think, folks? All you uh, people out there that are regular wood stove users, am I doing this wrong or what? See what that lint does. Just trying to use the uh, lint there and just throwing wood on top of it and hoping for the best. It's not working in my favor. Uh, I'm going to put some lighter fluid on it and see what happens then. Now I know some of you might think I should not be putting lighter fluid in my stove, but ah, whatever. Just gonna load it up. Hey, there goes the fan. Just so you know, it's minus 21 right now. Uh, I, I do have a little bit of signal here at the tent. I've got like a bar. So uh, it's uh, it's not that bad. It's much warmer than it was the last time I was out here. We really are starting to warm up now. It's that time of year now that it's March. It's a nice dead stick right here. I'm gonna take this one down. I mean, it's all, it's probably gonna come down on its own eventually anyway. It's really dry, like. So, 
As you guys know, I've been using this. And it's worked okay. It's slow. A lot of you are talking about how slow my my sawing is and I mean yeah, it's look. It's got uh, really small teeth. It works okay. And I got it because it was four bucks. I mean, let's be honest. And I just wanted to see how it worked. It worked okay. I just had to use a little bit more energy than I probably would have with a chainsaw, like probably a hundred times more energy. So, I've got the bow saw. And there's nothing fancy about this bow saw at all. It's, um, it's called a G-Man. I don't know if you guys can check it out here. It's a G-Man bow saw. And I got it at a local shop, and the local shop had this. It was the option. It's all there was. So, um, I'm going to use it. That's the blade. So, in comparison to that little handsaw, the little Mastercraft, I'd say it's pretty decent. Looks like it's got pretty good teeth. It's a lot better. I can tell already. It's a lot better. Like half the effort. Right on. So if you guys remember this. Zero binding, you guys are smart. So I got a couple of comments, here's one. You're only using half the blade when you cut. That's, that's true. Thank you, it's good. Get a bow saw with a larger tooth scale. Mm-hmm. And we've got this comment. Uh, wow, you couldn't figure out how to properly saw wood. I'm so not subscribing to this idiot. All right, folks, just to prove that you are right, that this saw uh, sucks in comparison to this saw when it comes to this sort of work, let's time it. Woo! I'm tired. Damn. Come on, baby. Oh! Okay. Time for some slow motion wood cutting. You can't see any smoke coming out of that uh, spark arrestor but you can see the heat there against the tree and it is pumping. 
it is warm in there. By the way, that spark arrestor works wonderfully. Thanks to uh, the tent shop for sending me the free spark arrestor. Works really, really well compared to the first one they sent me, and it's not clogging up at all. Okay, so how warm is it in the tent? Well, let's just see. I don't have a uh, thermometer in here right now. But let's just see if it's warm. How about we go with the fog up test? Oh, I would say it is about 40 degrees Celsius in here right now. All right, on the menu, steak. It's uh, ribeye, and I'm super excited about having it. What do I have? Onion, butter, not gonna use margarine. Was told from my last video that if I keep using margarine that I'll die. So, uh, gotta use butter from here on out. Don't wanna die. Uh, I have uh, mushrooms and potatoes that are pre-baked. So that way when I cut them up and throw them in my cast iron pan, which is working wonderfully now, they'll fry quickly and beautifully. It'll be like a double cook. So I've decided that my Mora companion is just awesome for cutting up food. And I decided it because it is. I wonder if the animals are smelling this steak. Because, oh man, I bet you if they are, they want to pay a visit. There we go. Oh, that's just deadly sharp, guys. The sharper your knife, the less you cry when you work with an onion. I learned that from a chef in a Kaluit, believe it or not. And uh, I can hear the ravens, they must smell the... Hear that? Anyway. Oh, every time I talk. Anyway, the sharper the knife, the less you cry when it comes to onions. Which makes sense. Chunk of butter. Mushrooms. Now normally if I was at home, I'd get this pan just ripping hot and then I would put all the veggies in. That's not what I'm doing today. Put this on the stove. Oh, I have a stove trick. I know some of you guys think I have no business being out here in the tent because I'm just learning as I go. And so if you're learning as you go, you shouldn't be out here. Uh, but I'm going to tell you something. I learned something really cool. I'm going to throw a nickel down here, 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 and here. And I'm going to put my uh, cast iron pan on top of that because the stove gets so hot that like it's just impossible to regulate and everything starts to really burn. So watch. It's just a little bit of elevation right there. And I think it's a really cool trick. I forget who uh, recommended that. Uh, if you're watching this video today, then you can boast and say, hey, I'm the one, and you can send me a note and say I was the one. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to elevate it a little bit and see if it makes a difference when it comes to, to cooking here. Oh, those are going to cook beautifully. They're already cooked. They just need to be fried. Someone commented that I need to get a proper spoon and even offered to send me one. Uh... So I have a wooden spoon today, not a plastic spoon. Throw all this in. Oh. It's a good thing I'm hungry. Working with wood makes you hungry. Oops. Oh, hot. Getting close. Almost time. Oh my God, look at that crisp. That's what it is. That's what it is all about. Oh my God, that's hot. Oh, I can't put my hand there. 
That's perfect. We'll let that sit for a bit. Oh, look at those crispy potatoes. Man, that's the beauty of cast iron. First things first, let's cut into this steak. You guys tell me what you think. Is that perfect or what? Cast iron cooking in a tent. Perfect. Mmm. Mmm. I'm a loud chewer, by the way. So, if you don't like loud chewing, too late. So, the last video I did here is doing pretty good. Yeah, I got about 110,000 hits, not that I'm counting or watching it like every second of the day to see the views go up. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it how it all went down in the last few weeks. Uh, I don't know if it's because I just put the words frigid and cold and extreme or whatever in, in, the, in the titles. That's what gets people to click because I have other videos that are probably equally as good. Uh, but, you know, there's no takers. So, the mystery of YouTube. Anyway... Uh, I'm not boasting, but uh, that video from a couple of weeks back is pretty much the best video of all time on YouTube. Uh, and thanks for commenting, and I hope to respond to as many as possible. And if not as many people watch this uh, video, that's okay. Because I just love coming out, drinking coffee, cutting wood, learning as I go, and reading offensive comments. Take care.